and I knew it was the answer. Like even before I had the book in my hands, I knew that that was gonna help me and it did, it totally. Um, I know my story is different from everyone and for anybody listening right now, I want you to know that I, I've worked with people that have taken a long time to heal and they've taken a short amount of time but I would like to just share with you, for me personally, I applied his information. I did an extended 28 day healing cleanse, extended. I basically did those foods for weeks and weeks and weeks. And by six months, I was completely symptom free. And then in one year, um, it took about a year for my emotions to stabilize. There were lots of tears and lots of cleansing going on. and. And so, yeah, that's how I found Anthony, and that's how I started my journey. So that's amazing. That gives me the chills when I like yeah. that moment where people just know. Well, it's, <laughs> whenever someone says, "And then I found yeah. the medical medium," and then I found Anthony William. The that answer. gives me the chills. Yeah, you just you know? give me the chills saying that. <laughs> so it sounds like this all started for you in 2011, and then. Oh, Is when that, she got sick. When yeah. she got sick, and then come 2017. Oh, 15. Oh, 15 is when you find you found medical medium and you started incorporating some of some of what he had written in the book. So that whole process from 2011 to 2015. That's four years. Wait, you said five, right? Because I think it might have been like. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like. Yeah, yeah, I actually, um, even like in college, I actually had joint pain in my hands and I just, I remember telling uh, my, my boyfriend, who's my husband now, telling him about it and my sister and my mom and we all were just like, oh, interesting. You know, we didn't really think much yeah. of it. So if I were to look back at a lot of parts of my life, I know, I know that things were mounting at a very, very young age. My mom actually told me a story about when I was one, I was already walking, but all of a sudden I stopped walking. She was like, what's wrong with her hips? Oh. And so they took me to the doctor. This went on for like a week or two. And then all of a sudden I was fine and I could walk again. But she said that she's always kind of thought what's going on with her joints. Right. So it's such a, it's so bizarre if you really think back, but the, the joint pain in college, you know, nobody should have that in their early twenties. No, <laughs> it's just not normal to have symptoms. Right. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely it was about a, it was definitely like a five year span of, of symptoms, hardcore symptoms. And then, yeah, I totally found my safe yeah. grace. <laughs> so you so. found when you found medical medium, you said you just kind of dove right in to the um, 28 day cleanse. So you kind of just like eliminated everything right off the bat. Sounds like. So, well, I thought I was, I was still doing this power shake drink from my naturopath. So I was seeing a chiropractor and a naturopath at this point. So I was done with Western medicine. Yep. But here I am going to alternative therapies now for the first time in my life. And the naturopath, I was kind of questioning because she was giving me all these supplements and it was getting kind of overwhelming because I was doing supplements that um, was recommended in the Epstein-Barr uh, chapter three and medical mediums, uh, secrets behind chronic illness and mystery illness book. Um, and so I was doing all those plus what the naturopath said. and. I brought the book to her and said, look, I think this is what's going on. I'm going to eat these foods. This is my plan. But she had me on this different kind of vitamin C and this uh, protein vegan shake thing. And I slowly realized that it had natural flavors in it. So what I was doing was I was drinking my celery juice and then I would have that shake with like some kind of vegan milk. and my digestive system did not like that. Mm. That was not pretty. <laughs> so um, eventually, yeah, eventually I had to give those things up and I'm gonna just keep it real with you. And I see this a lot with a lot of people. When you take out all the other noise that's going on and what everyone else is telling you, everyone else's opinions and recommendations, and you just focus on medical medium healing information, everything changes and that's what happened with me when i let those things go i still saw my chiropractor actually because she was the first person to tell me 
Epstein Barr virus is your number one problem. And I was like, oh my gosh, like somebody totally knows. Yes. <laughs> so I stuck with her and I saw, yeah, I mean, it was a big deal. I saw her weekly. It was, it, it that was incredible. Um, but I had to let go of the naturopath and, um, you know, I mean, even at one point in my sickest, I was seeing a fibromyalgia specialist and he charged $420 an hour. Do you want to know what he told me to do? He basically told me to lay down flat if I feel like really sick and just keep my body as flat as possible. And I believed him. So that's what I would do is like spent a lot of time laying flat. And I can't even believe I spent so much money to see someone like that who didn't even say a word about my diet yeah right like it wasn't even a topic <laughs> crazy so it is yeah yeah so so um so you got on and so yeah. you so you got you 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 know you got started before medical medium had any of his other books out right so the one he book. just had the first book which had the 28 day yeah. cleanse in it so I know when we were sick, that yes. was the first thing we went to. Yeah. And it sounds like you did the same thing. Good. Yeah. So that's. Yes. Yeah. So I did the 28 day cleanse and focused on those foods like the spinach soup. But, but what's funny is on the Vitamix setting that I use, my Vitamix blender, I turned it over to hot. I was literally eating it like a hot uh -huh. soup <laughs> because I didn't know any better. Yeah. I didn't know any better. And I was also saving it. Like I wasn't even drinking, I wasn't even eating all of it. I was like saving half for the next day. Um, and so long story short, I wasn't eating enough. I lost a lot of weight really quick. And my family was like, what's happening to you? <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I had to learn to eat enough. And so I did a lot of those, like the, um, the mango salsa, the spinach soup every day, the healing broth every day. Um, and then I started bringing in sweet potatoes for dinner. I would do that a lot um, and just kept it really, really simple. Celery juice every day, no matter what. Back then, I wasn't even starting my day with lemon water. I was just starting with 16 ounces of celery mm -hmm. juice. And um, absolutely no prepackaged foods, nothing with preservatives. Um, but I was having some nuts here and there, actually, because I would add some walnuts to my sweet potato. And once in a while, I would have like trail mix with nuts. Um, but for the most part, it was raw and there was a lot of fat free foods. Um, and then like a year into my healing, you know, my pain is gone. My symptoms are gone. And I started bringing some uh, nutritional yeast back into my diet. Okay. And I was like, oh, I'm, I, I was having fun making all these meals for my family. And I was really exploring uh, being plant-based and I wanted to have fun meals to transition my family. And then it dawned on me like, okay, this is MSG. You cannot eat nutritional yeast to get it out of the house. And I think it's an important topic to bring up because a lot of people feel like this is a very rigid way of living and you have to be perfect and you don't. There isn't a single person that I've met that's done this perfectly because it doesn't exist. Mm, right. There is no such thing as a perfect healing plan or protocol. It's all a beautiful journey. And as long as you don't judge yourself for it and you pay attention to how foods make you feel and you know the truth, you go back to the truth, like, okay, what's nutritional yeast? It's MSG. Maybe I shouldn't eat that because it won't be good for my brain, right? That's what Anthony tells us. So, um, if you keep it simple and you really ask yourself what's good for your health and what feels good in your body, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No I'm kidding. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The, um, so when you were, you were saying you were a year in, when did you start to notice like some of your symptoms lessen? When did you know, start to feel like you were starting to kind of normalize again, take us through kind of that process? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Um, so I, I could barely get out of bed before noon. That's how sick I was. It was really hard. Um, my husband would put my daughter in the bed with me with her iPad and her cereal bar and fruit and snacks. And that's where we would stay for hours in the morning when he went to work. I was that sick. It was really hard. And I had a lot of mom guilt. 
that could be a whole nother show I'm for sure. women who are chronically <laughs> ill with babies because it's it's really hard and um um, it's really important that you forgive yourself for that because what you're going through is not your fault ever, whether you are a child or a mom or, you know, a male, whatever. Um, but when I started implementing the celery juice and doing the 28 day cleanse and I could start my day at 9 a.m., that was a victory. That was a huge victory. And so each little thing that I could do, you know, when I could grocery shop without needing help when I could drive holding the steering wheel, when I could open jars, when I could stand there and juice without severe pain, when I could wash the juicer, right? Because there were many times where I just left it there for my husband to do when he got back because I was so weak and not well. But when you start, when, when you really pay attention to the little things, you can shower without pain, you can go for a walk with your family, right? All these things matter. And even if it's getting out of bed an hour earlier, it matters because each and every day and with every month, every week, even if you eat every day, if you have to take it smaller increments, it changes over time. And it's just amazing. I think that that's the big thing for me was I focused on those little victories and it kept me moving forward. Now through your journey, medical medium started coming out with more and more information and more books. How did you start incorporating yes. some of that other stuff that into a, your healing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So at about a year into my healing, I started exercising a little bit more. We bought a recumbent bike so I could sit and rest my hips, but pedal a little bit. And so I was doing that a couple times a week. I would try to do a little bit every day. I was going outside in my backyard and walking in the yard and eventually I got enough strength to where I was doing laps in the neighborhood. And that was amazing walking and taking my daughter to the playground and swinging and playing with her. Um, I would do that every day actually. And then um, a year and two months into my healing journey, I got pregnant with my son, with my second oh, child. My and so I'm still, very new into this yeah. healing, right? I literally just got my life back. My pain is gone, but there was a lot of fear, a lot of fear of getting sick again after baby, because that's what happened after my first. And so my daughter's five at this point, and I had a goal of making sure that I was pain-free and symptom-free by the time she started kindergarten. And that was a joyous day. Like a lot of moms cry when their kids go to school, but for me, I was like so happy that I was well enough to be strong and healthy for her. Um, but with my son, I had a beautiful pregnancy. I kept following medical medium. I was plant-based. There were two times actually that I had wild salmon during my pregnancy. It was the last time that I ever had meat and I finally let it go for good. And because that's what felt right for me mm -hmm. um, was to be plant-based and um, yeah, I just stuck, I basically had celery juice every day of the pregnancy, including the day that I went into labor and the day after I had the baby. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I had two, three smoothies a day, every day throughout the heavy metal detox smoothie every single day during the pregnancy. And I would listen to my intuition. There were some days that I would do like half a teaspoon of the powders and some days I would do one full teaspoon, just kind of went with that with my mom intuition and um yeah mostly plant-based lots of raw foods and um after i had him uh the recovery was brilliant it was absolutely beautiful my body was so supported my adrenals were so supported i had a natural childbirth with him actually in a hospital setting we wanted to do a home birth, um, but we decided to go the hospital route. And it was actually in a military hospital, um, but they let me walk around outside. There was a beautiful lake and we walked. I did a lot of yoga squats and I gave birth on all fours and had him naturally. After my first birth, I actually had a fourth degree tear and they wanted me to have a C-section. And I said, absolutely not. I'm gonna have a natural childbirth. So they were already kind of irritated with me, <laughs> um, but I went in there and I did it. And there was, there were like, I had no complications. I did a tear, everything was beautiful. Baby is healthy, I'm healthy. 
and um, there was a little bit of snafu because he swallowed some meconium, but um, they had him in the NICU for like three days. Um, that's a whole nother story, but he's super healthy. I mean, he's, he's four now and he's totally uh, vibrant, fully plant-based and uh, my healthy little kid. He's never had medications, health issues. Um, and my symptoms never came back, more importantly. I never got the joint pain, the depression, all of that stayed away because I kept supporting my body with the holy four, right? Fruits, vegetables, herbs, and spices, and wild foods. Um, and so uh, eventually the thyroid healing book came out. And so I was like hardcore into that. I was like, this is great. I love the mango banana smoothie. I love the aloe and the cucumber juice. So I actually did a 90 day thyroid healing after I had my son. I can't remember how old he was, um, which aloe water is safe during pregnancy and even postpartum. All of those things are absolutely safe and okay. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself. I did a whole year of aloe water and uh, cucumber juice. Wow. Um, so instead of like herbal tea at night, I did cucumber juice every night. Um, when he was about eight months old, I revisited my 28-day uh, healing cleanse, but I did a modified version. I, I think about three, four times I had like potatoes and some cooked foods, but mostly it was raw. Um, my husband actually had to leave for about a year for, for deployment. He was gone a lot. It was just me and the two kids, and so I was cutting the grass by myself. I was working. I had opened up my nursing practice at that time. I'm taking care of two kids by myself, symptom free. Yeah. <laughs> like this is amazing, right? Yeah. I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> where um, and I have to say too, my faith was a big part of it. There is absolutely no way that I could have gone through all of this with such little support. Um, if it wasn't for my faith, I started going to church and asking the angels for help, praying, writing down prayers. Um, and that kept me so strong and so sound in my path when the whole world looked at me like I was absolutely off my rockers. <laughs> but eventually, eventually they could see it, right? Your friends and family can see it. They're like, gosh, I'm, you're doing so well. And then they start asking you for recipes or when they come over and you make a salad, they're like, this tastes so good. And, and so I think, I think the big takeaway is just to know that you're like, you're on your own journey. And what other people's judgments are of you is just a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. Just be true to you and, and keep that vision. Visualize how you want to see yourself healed and whole, running around with your kids. What is it that you want to see yourself doing? And I just stayed focused on that, and that really helped. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I think it's, it's fascinating yeah, so, to hear, so like, your, your, uh, your first child versus your second child, right? Because you... You weren't yeah, on the medical big, meeting big with your first child, but your second child you were, and the recovery was like like that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So much better. My recovery after my first was really hard, very difficult, and absolutely big difference. I mean, I'm the one getting less sleep because I was breastfeeding my son. And I had more energy than my husband. I mean, I just, I just did. <laughs> I knew how to support myself, right? If I'm tired, if I'm tired and I'm up with baby, I got to put lots of sprouts in my smoothie. That's going to give me energy. I need to have lots of critical clean carbohydrates, bananas, potatoes, mangoes, dates. I need to get my energy going. And so that really, um, that really helped. And I, at this point, I'm like, a lifer. I knew I wasn't going to go back to my old ways because it felt way too good yeah. to ever go back to eating, you know, the other way. And so the, um, what, what came out next, the, uh, liver rescue that came out and I started doing a bunch of those, um, the liver rescue three, six nines while I was breastfeeding. Um, which was great. As long as I had potatoes on the days that you could have potatoes, my supply was great because um, I was breastfeeding. And I actually ended up breastfeeding for three years and nine months with no supply issues yeah. at all, That's staying amazing. on the medical medium healing. And my goal was just to let my son wean off naturally. I didn't want to stop him, 
with my daughter wasn't medical medium. I made it to about six months. I even had blood and clots in my breast milk. Oh my and when I went to the hospital, um, cause I had my appendix taken out and then I eventually had to have my gallbladder as well in an emergency surgery. So those are two organs that I lost within that time. I remember showing them my breast milk cause I had to pump and they had no answers for me. And honestly, I didn't know what was happening either. And then I've experienced the other side where there were no problems, no mastitis, no issues at all, absolutely beautiful process. And there's a lot to, to, to be said about healing this way. It supports you throughout your whole life. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, thyroid, um, thyroid healing, I did that. And then the Liver Rescue 369s. And then, of course, um, the 369 advanced cleanses. I've done a little over 20 of those over the years. That's and amazing. each time it's, there's something new. Yeah, it's incredible. I, I'm always <laughs> so like inspired when I see it on Instagram. You're always, always doing one, it seems like. And I just, it's so inspiring. It's like one a month. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do, I, I, I used to do one a month and I'm like every other month. And then now, this is my big 39th birthday year in September. And so the liver rejuvenates itself every three years. So three months before a third birthday is a good time to start cleansing. So I'll definitely do them back to back those months. Perfect. Um, but I'm at a point now where I feel really good. My bloating is gone. It took me four years to get the bloating down. So I know I could get the, I healed my pain very quickly, but we have to remember that it takes a long time for the liver to heal itself, right? And to get those toxins out. And I took a lot of pharmaceuticals. I was exposed to a lot in the hospital setting um, for all those years that I worked in the hospital, my husband being military, it's just a lot of exposure. And so I understand like we all need to clean our liver. And so it took me four years, yeah, to get the bloating down. And so. If it's taken you a long time to heal um, a certain symptom, you just have to hang in there and know that if you're consistent, it's going to pay off eventually. And we are so blessed to have these books now, like even just the mm -hmm. Cleanse to Heal book. Yeah. This is very well used. You can yeah. ours looks the same, <laughs> but um, you can you can look you know look up uh, bloating or whatever you know whatever it is, vertigo, eczema, Lyme, wh whatever's going on with you, and you can really. Um, tailor your own protocol now it's um, it's really amazing the information that he's 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 given out to us now so I can't wait for the next book I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> we're excited check out our next video with Amber as she walks us through what she eats in a day and don't miss out on all the other videos we did with Amber thanks so much for watching you guys see you next time